everyone, I'm Tamsin Fidel for the Broadway Channel, and this is what's hot on Broadway. Get ready for the latest scoop on Broadway shows and exclusive interviews with the hottest stars. Take a first look as the Broadway Channel interviews the cast of Cameron McIntosh's new production of Boob Leal and Schoenberg's legendary musical, Les Miserables. It's exciting, it's fun, it's... Uh, uh, it's, it's nice to, you know, you, you actually feel more comfortable uh, knowing that somebody else is going to go, you know, as hard at it as you are, so you don't have to feel like uh, self, self um, what do you call it, um, self-conscious. It's one of many things, you know, there's so many themes in the show that it's best to let's ask them as they leave, you know. By the looks on their faces, they've, for the majority I've seen, you know, have been touched by something. And I think each of them have their own individual reason, which again goes back to your question is why it's successful. And I think that's why, whether it's the love story, whether it's the selflessness, the grace, the redemption, you know, I'd be interested to know that answer myself. The process was kind of um, overwhelming, but then, and when I booked it, I kind of was stunned and excited at the same time and then felt like I had to go get another job because as an actor, you're going, I got it. I gotta go audition now. <laughs> and, you know, my agency's telling me, no, you don't. You're okay for right now. And I'm like, no! But yeah, it was, it's great to be here. Coming into it is uh, insane. <laughs> it's crazy just because of the, the, amount of, the amount of stars in the show and, um, and just being the one person that's like not, that I'm not really well known. So, so I kind of I kind of relish that sometimes, but it's just it's kind of fun because because everyone else is so um, they're very experienced and they've been Broadway shows and, and of course and Andy's been on Smash so it's so it's kind of it's great to be put into a show like this because of the fact that I can learn so much from everybody. It's really amazing to do a show with these kinds of stakes to play people that are really passionate, really passionate, ready to die for a cause that they believe in so much. Uh, it's not the kind of thing you get to play very often, you know. Uh, generally in musicals, it's like, do they love me back? And, you know, are we going to make it to the church on time? But this is really like life and death, the highest stakes you can play on stage. It's, it's a real epic. Um, so it's great to get to go all the way there um, and send that message out to an audience. It's really a powerful thing. So it's been a, a journey to, to um, forget about the song and focus on the story and on the girl and what's happening in her life at that moment. And you sort of strip all the notes and the expectations of how it should sound and what it should look like when it's finished. And that takes a little bit of humility <laughs> on my part to sort of allow myself to stumble through it, even though I've known it f my entire life, it seems. Um, uh, to, to, to start over again with it. So I think I'm finally getting there, almost quite getting there. And I hope that, you know, what the audience finds and what I find eight times a week is that it's both everything you thought it was and everything you never knew it was. Oh, there's nothing like it. I was just thinking the other day, you know, the first day of, of tech rehearsals when you're in the theater or at the set and the costumes, it, it feels magical, you know? You, you get in a room and you create something that happens once and you share it with an audience and they share it with you and it never happens quite the same way again, you know, and that's, that's just remarkable. And so to be part of a Broadway legacy is really an honor. I think the themes of Les Mis resonate so much with people because it's all about um, love, forgiveness, compassion, redemption, um, and then you throw in some incredible music and some really compelling characters and, you know, you've got something that speaks to everyone. It's fantastic. I mean, it, there's a danger with anything that's well known to kind of copy and repeat. And and while you certainly don't want to fix something that's not broken, you know, the challenge is always to reinterpret a story and, and make it as accessible as you can and find a new way to tell a story. And uh, and that's what we've tried to set out to do and what our creative team is, is doing. Is, um, I guess if, if you had to compare our version to the, the original is is that it's much more centered on just like just character and story and being active and any any time we could find a way to to just ramp up the stakes and be really really forward momentum in our active <laughs> I keep saying active um, it's it's maybe the original was more of an operetta and this is more of a you know a, a action movie <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching What's Hot on Broadway, One on the Aisle, and your backstage pass to the best of Broadway. I'm Tamson Fidel for the Broadway Channel. Since 1846, beginning with complicated precision instruments to navigate the seas, Swiss masterpieces with over 4,300 awards, including 18 gold medals, a leader in innovation, a pioneer in the use of advanced materials, a constant explorer, the ultimate timepiece, the legendary name, Ulysse Nardin.